Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to finally give you guys the rundown on my Miami vlog. I went to Miami with my mom and sister um, April 5th through the 11th and I wanted to finally give you guys the rundown on the hotels I stayed, the restaurants I visited, and any of the fun things that I did while I was there. So if you want to watch and stay tuned and learn some things about Miami, continue watching this video. Okay. Okay, so we're here. This is my second time in Miami. I kind of call this my grown woman trip because the first time I went to Miami, I was younger. I think I was 22 at the time, um, maybe even 21. No, I was 22 and I went with some college um, peers and we just kind of went there to have fun. We didn't plan anything. We didn't make any reservations. We just kind of went out there and just did it your typical way. I'm sure some of you probably have seen my YouTube video. It got about 10,000 views, but I have since deleted it. Um, anyways, so let's start. I went on April 5th through the 12th. I actually was supposed to leave on the 11th. However, my flight was delayed 19 hours. I flew Delta because at the time they were following the COVID restriction where they had the middle aisle seat vacant. So I was flying Delta when I went to Atlanta this year and then when I went to Miami because it seemed the safest and they, you know, they give you little treats and a water bottle. So I wore this outfit to the airport and single ladies, I'm speaking to you. I need you guys to dress cute to the airport. I know no one wants to dress cute to the airport, but you need to because you don't know who you can meet at the airport and you want to make sure you look your best so this is what I wore and I brought sandals just in case my feet started hurting which I made it through the whole time flying from Detroit to um, Miami with my heels and then when I finally got to Miami I switched to my sandals which I made sure they matched my shoes so you could just bring a cute pair of little sandals or flats and put them in your carry-on or you could put them in your purse and that night I stayed at this hotel called Villa Italia and they claimed to be a four-star restaurant, but no. They did not have concierge. They did not have a restaurant. Um, they might have had a pool. I didn't check it out. The room I stayed in smelled like old basement, and it was very dirty. I'll show you the video. It was not clean at all. I didn't feel really safe there because I was on the ground level. So make sure you do a little digger deeper digging when you find your hotels because they will say that they're four stars but they're really not and um, I know in order to be a four star you have to have hotel concierge you have to have a restaurant um, there's some things you have to have that this hotel definitely lacked and um, they say online they have a hotel airport shuttle we weren't offered that I didn't check and ask but usually when you have a hotel shuttle when you book they ask you when what what's your flight what time and your gate so they can come pick you up and this hotel failed to do so. So anyways, later that day I went to Ocean Drive to take my mom. She's never been to Miami so I wanted to show her kind of where the hot spot is in Miami which is everyone knows is Ocean Drive. So we went to Ocean Drive and we went to CJ Crab Shack. Don't recommend, it was kind of bland. Uh, we did not like our calamari, didn't have much flavor at all to it. But uh, they, People seem to be enjoying their drinks. I got a drink. It was just regular, kind of tasted like alcohol. You know, usually when you want to get a mixed drink, you want it to taste kind of fruity and fun. But theirs just tasted like liquor. So let's go to Tuesday, April 6th. This is when I checked into my actual four-star hotel. It's called Ebro Star Berkeley. They also go by Ebro Star Berkeley Shore Hotel. Their check-in is pretty late. It's not till 4 p.m. However, they'll let you leave your bags with bellhop. And I was going to check and see if maybe they will let me check in if I paid them a little extra. But when I called, they said, no, they don't accept any early check-ins. But I didn't offer to pay or give a tip when I got there. Maybe that would have changed the story. So if you're willing to drop some a couple hundreds on getting in early, maybe you can if the room is available. So they checked in there. Definitely actually four star. They have a pool, a fitness center. They have... A actual dining in and dining outside restaurant they do have the bellhop obviously the 24-hour concierge and room service so they kind of fit everything that I would say a four-star hotel should have their hotels.com does not give them really good credibility because they actually have a lot more to offer than they say online they actually give you 
Two chairs and two towels a day at the beach. They are booked through Lowe's, which is a five-star hotel in Miami. And they're about, they're like right across the street from Lowe's, Amberstar Berkeley is. You can see it if you walk out the front door, you can see Lowe's. And they work with this company called Brooks and Brothers, which supplies tents and towels and chairs to people on the beach. So you can go to the beach. They have a section reserved with Lowe's. You tell them your room number, then they give you two towels and then you tell them where you would like to sit. And then it's a $30 charge if you want a tent. And then I think it's $50 if you want to stay in the lower tents that kind of have like a roly poly look. It's like a wrap around. It's all the way covered. That day I earlier before I checked in, I ate at Taco Rico. Don't recommend. Taco Rico was very gross. If you like spicy but you don't like flavor, go to Taco Rico. But if you want actual authentic Mexican dishes, no. It lacked all type of seasoning flavor. I didn't feel like I was eating an authentic Mexican dish whatsoever. Here's a picture, a video of Española Way. I recommend going there if you want to take pictures in the middle of the area, the walkway. They have restaurants and bars on this side, restaurants and bars on the side. And if also if you like cigars, they have a cigar bar there. So if you take a middle picture in the middle, there's beautiful lights hanging and then there's the palm trees and it looks really pretty and serene there. I took pictures kind of off to the side because at that time I didn't really feel like being in the spotlight and taking pictures. Sometimes I'm, I'm actually a pretty low-key shy person so I don't always enjoy stopping and doing something in the middle of everybody so that day I didn't really feel like it so I just took some pictures off to the side in the greenery which here's some pictures of that and this is what I wore that day I wore all white with some cute little heels yes I wore heels every day basically all day because I kind of know what guys like and honestly I was going down there to get some dates and to have fun with my mom and sister so I knew what I was doing mm-hmm so um, let's see, I talked about what I talked about the restaurant and the hotel. Oh, that night on Tuesday, we actually ate at Ebro Star. They have a great restaurant. I don't even remember what I ordered, but it was good. And my sister ordered some type of ravioli and she asked if it was frozen. And they say, no, they actually prepare theirs every day. So she ordered some type of pasta that usually restaurants have low key and they freeze it. But this restaurant, prepared it and she said it didn't taste like it was frozen at all. Was that week that I went, prior to that, there was spring break in Miami and I'm sure you guys heard the news stories. Um, a, a female was raped and died. Um, I'm not sure if she was murdered or she had a drug overdose. I don't know, but we know she was. She died and she was raped and um, that made huge news, national news. So next thing you know, there was a curfew for 8 p.m. in Miami from 5th Street to 10th Street, which is basically just Ocean Drive. So that week we went, we had an 8 p.m. curfew. However, Urban Star Berkeley, they're located at 11th Street. So I was clear, you know, Collins and 11th on from 11th and up. You could stay out later than 8 p.m. and then the restaurants and bars were open at that time. However, basically, if you wanted to do anything really fun throughout the night, you had to go to a different city. What's that other city close to Miami? Not Is it Palm Beach? Not Palm Beach. You guys know what I'm talking about. You have to go to that city to go to do something late or go to Miami Gardens if you want to go to the strip club, which I did go. So let's go. Here's the swimsuits that I wore that day. And I've been swimming a lot at the pool. It was a smaller pool at my hotel, but it was still nice. It could fit a good amount of people. And you didn't feel kind of cr crowded or claustrophobic. I enjoyed swimming. The only thing I cannot do is tread in water, which is crazy because my brother was on water polo. And he did great at it. And then here I am. I can I can only tread for like thir three seconds. So like I can swim. I can go from one end to the other. I can doggy pad. I can um, do my front stroke. I do my back stroke. I just cannot tread in water. And I even took swim lessons. So I need to take some more swim lessons, maybe like intermediate level and get these treading down so I can actually jump off the boats and do fun cliff diving because I will actually I will also jump off of a boat if I could tread in water but I just don't know how to do it anyways Wednesday we ate breakfast slash brunch at Havana 1957 which is located on Ocean Drive it's kind of at the front of Ocean Drive so um depending on which area you enter so I would say 10th because that's closest to where I was staying so it's like kind of on 10th and um Collins area 
and I recommend if you go there get the passion fruit mojito it was delicious bomb I could taste all of the spices in the drink it was very refreshing and then I got the avocado toast it was good I got a lot of avocado toast honestly because I was kind of trying to eat on a like a slim healthier lean diet there because I didn't want to be bloated and I have really serious digestion issues so I know if I eat heavy I'm gonna be sick and not be able to enjoy myself so I just played it safe and said you know what I'm gonna eat uh, a healthier meals so we went to the beach that day we got the tent or the umbrella for $30 and then later that night we went to bodega which turns out bodega is also a bar and club a very popular bar and club we went there and we just went there for dinner so you could sit outside but you have to wait because people are there people are getting takeout there people are getting um grub hubs you know uber dash all that stuff there so not uber dash door dash uber eats anyways they're busy so you have to wait a little while if you want to eat there so we had to wait while our food was being prepared and then we finally just you know grabbed a seat you know you have to kind of stalk as person eating and just wait for them to get up and then take their seat it's that kind of place so i recommend everything there we got two different types of their nachos cheese nachos we got like my mom and sister got some tacos i got some tacos i don't eat beef tacos so i got their chicken option it was good everything was good nothing there was failing because i tried everybody's meals so if you go to bodega you can pretty much get anything and it'll taste really good definitely recommend them over taco rico any day thursday let's talk about thursday i end up going on a date thursday to we were supposed to go to the broken um shaker or broken shatter sh broken shaker or something like that we had reservations but i just didn't feel like going and i had a headache that day so i just said never mind he was already there we had reservations so I kind of felt bad so then I said okay I'll go out to breakfast so we went to breakfast at his hotel and then we went into the beach or not the beach we went to his pool rooftop pool at the Marriott on Collins in South Beach and we just had champagne and ate at the pool and just kind of chilled and got to know each other a little bit and this is what I wore on the date and then this is the swimsuit that I wore my favorite swimsuit the pink one it was so cute it had a little buckle and then I had the cute little um slippers sandals to match it and my cute little purse um then that night we went to the fish house and it's also called the fish house backroom live if you look it up awesome atmosphere um they have live music on some nights i'm not sure if it's like friday saturday thursday friday saturday i don't know but we went thursday and it was live music that day they have a raw fish bar so if you like sushi they have it i didn't try it but i did get the tuna and all i did was get it seared on both sides so the pink was in the middle and i did enjoy my tuna it was good it wasn't that flavorful but you know that's what you expect when you kind of get um just steamed seared tuna and then i got the vegetables we also got some bacon wrapped scallops those were amazing and i did eat bacon that day whatever and uh, my mom and sister got something and they enjoyed their meal and the band was on point they were really good and jamming people were dancing towards the later in the night when they started getting their drinks in them you know how that goes friday i went to the beach again and i went swimming upstairs at the pool again this is what i wore to um the pool and then after the pool i got changed and went to the beach and i switched my swimsuits because i got a lot of swimsuits i got all of them from sheen or shine i'm not sure how to pronounce it and turns out a lot of people get stuff from there this is the first time i've ever ordered anything from there and i highly recommend it i was able to wash all my swimsuits without them shrinking or getting messed up so I wore this white and black piece and then I switched to my yellow slash orange piece. I can't really tell what kind of color that is. I think it's like a mandarin yellow. Anyways, at that night I went to dinner at Juvia's. Oh my God, Juvia's was beautiful. They had a beautiful view of the city line, the, you know, the skyline of all the bu buildings in downtown Miami. And the food was phenomenal. It tastes like they just infused all their food meats and dishes with a um you know a basically a needle and kind of just squeezed all the seasoning in there let it soak and marinate over time and then they cooked it for us it's not like they just put a little salt and pepper on the back on the front and then on the bottom of the food no they like de definitely put some time into their prep 
for the food. It was phenomenal. Everything everybody ordered, we thought it was great. My mom and sister actually say it was their favorite restaurant.